can see, and an air comforter that's in the mail and should be here tomorrow or the next day. So what I'm gonna do tonight is unbox one of the units, set it up for the entire bed, because it should easily take care of the entire bed. We'll just have one temperature. Uh, and then when the air comforter comes, I will go ahead and do that second unit unboxing and also the unboxing of the uh, air comforter as well. First up, a Bedjet manual. Ooh, Bedjet remote control. Ooh, with battery. I will be using the app anyway. There's the support arm. Extension unit. Here's the actual vent that goes in the bed. Here's a little clip that goes with it. Here's an extra little yeah, aromatherapy diffuser kit. Good packaging. Here's the flexible hose. And here's the unit itself. It's not as big as I thought it would be. It's a little smaller actually. Very good packaging here. Bedjet version two. Uh, the feel of this plastic is pretty nice. Seems to be very good quality here. Everything's nice and tight. All the joints are tight and well fitted. Uh, the lettering on the front is raised and embossed here. So uh, that's really nice. Uh, everything looks like very good quality. Uh, Let's go ahead and finish taking off all the plastic here real quick. Ooh, this hose is nice. It's got, it has some kind of fabric coating on it. And it feels, feels really nice. Now, it's my understanding that underwriter laboratories would not certify this unless they kept the length of the cord down a little bit and uh, you can run a power strip with suitable amperage or wattage or whatever in order to uh, add to it. I think I'll be fine because I have outlets on either side of my bed. So this cord is quite long. That should easily suit my needs. Let's take a look at this remote control. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like a little mini bed jet. You can see in the front there. It has a, a mute button, it has a, a, plus, a minus and a plus, and it has a timer looking hourglass thing. In the middle it says heat, and there it says cool, and at the top it's turbo heat. Uh, let me just pop this battery in real quick. Okay, this is what the unit looks like under the bed. I just turned the unit on. There's a power switch for on off. A lot of people might miss that. Turn it to the on position. Currently I have an amber yellow light. It can't come on. And uh, there's also the switch for dual zone on, low power, dual zone off, high power. Right now dual zone's off, so we'll keep it on high power. Okay, so I've got the unit. All I did was plug it in, slide it under the bed, and attach the hose at two ends. And I did take a peek at the instruction manual, which is very nice, by the way. This little piece goes between the mattresses, between the mattress and the box spring. Feels very secure. Uh, then you got these little spacer things. I think I'm gonna need about two of them. Plug that in. Let me put this little hose thing on here. And that's supposed to attach to the hose right below the little plastic piece. Let me just zoom in on this part right here. The moment of truth. Put that in. Sweet. It goes right in there. So I think that's it. We're installed. I've chosen to put this between the sheet, the top sheet, and my comforter. And we'll just put that in. Tighten that up. Now this will just go down. That's not as intrusive as I thought it was going to be. It also has these little clips on the side, which I didn't notice. These are to clamp your sheet in if you want. So you can go like that if you're going underneath it, but. Okay, here's my first button press. Let's press heat. Hey, something's happening. I hear it turning on. 
Wow, that's not very loud at all. All right, let's take a look at our bed here. It is noticeably puffier. I'm gonna go ahead and hit turbo heat on here and see if it goes super high. There's turbo heat. Hmm. That is definitely getting puffier. It's not that loud. It's very good. If I put my hand by the vent here, the airflow is not, it's pulling it in kind of uniformly, so it's not taking it out too much. We do have a memory foam mattress, and it'll be nice to see how softened up it is. What I want to do is see how warm it is closer toward the head of the bed where my head goes, and if it or if it just heats down by my feet more. Uh, what I have on my bed right now is a top sheet and then my comforter is a down comforter. It's a three season comforter. It's not super light, but it's not super heavy. Okay, I'm standing beside my bed now, analyzing the puffiness. It's puffy all the way right up to the head. Very impressive. I don't know if this, the camera's picking it up or not, but this is the far edge right here. And I can feel but there's air in there. So it's it's puffing up the entire bed. Very impressive. Okay, it's been going for probably like two minutes. Really, you're supposed to wait like 10 minutes, but I'm gonna get in there and see what it's like in there. We'll see what we can, oh wow. That is nice. Wow. Okay. That is very nice. It feels very comfortable under here. And there's just a puffiness. It's like my comforter now weighs about probably 60% less. It's just floating above me, really. Like I feel like pretty much no weight from it at all, which I like personally. I don't like a lot of tightness on me when I sleep. So this is very encouraging. I can't wait to see what happens with the air comforter. Yeah, after one day with the bed jet, let me just give my impressions. It was a very nice experience. I was very happy with it. I was able to put it at a high heat when I first got in and it was nice and warm and toasty in my bed. My memory foam was nice and soft the way I like it and not hard. And that made getting to bed a lot more pleasant of an experience. My wife was also very impressed with that. Then we bumped it down to 83 degrees at 15% power using the app, which the app is pretty nice, although it will be a lot better once it's updated and we can program it more. We kept it like that for about 20 minutes and had it shut off, and that was just really nice. It reminded me of after I take a nice hot shower and crawling into bed and feeling more relaxed because my body is warmed up from the shower. That's how I felt getting into bed and laying there. It was just very relaxed and it was very pleasant to fall asleep. Then I set the alarm on the bed jet to go off 15 minutes before I was planning on waking up. It just turned on at the same temperature that I left it at. It made getting out of bed a lot easier, uh, a lot more pleasant actually. I was surprised how much of a difference it made. It was a very uh, good experience. I can already tell the bed jet's gonna be something that I don't want to live without. Uh, I will use it every night. It will make Colorado nights a lot more pleasant and comfortable, and we can lower our thermostat uh, because we'll stay nice and warm, which will be nice. And I'm really looking forward to the dual zone setup when I get that air comforter going. But right now, one unit is plenty for our queen size bed, and I imagine the uh, air comforter with the dual unit setup is going to be super nice. I can get it exactly how I want it. So it'll be perfect to tweak it exactly how we want it. It's a very good product. I'm very happy that I purchased it already after one night, well worth the money. And I think it'd be worth it at, can you really put a price on your sleep? 